So now we're looking at the um, internal anatomy of this grasshopper. I've basically just removed to either side these um, reproductive structures from that, that female and uh, come back to those in a second. But that's exposed uh, more of the digestive system underneath here. So um, before we get to the digestive system though, I just wanted to point out on either side of the animal here and up here in the region of the head, um, sort of between the head and the thorax, you find all of these, this heavy concentration of these very fibrous looking tissues here, okay? Those are muscle fibers, okay? So um, if you think about it, um, this area here in the thorax, it has things like legs, it has things like wings, all very important in um, powered uh, locomotion and flight, okay? So it makes sense that we would find a heavy concentration of muscle tissue here, okay? And also here by the head and neck, of course, there's lots of movement in that area, and there, there are more, um, there's legs up here as well too in this part of the thorax, okay? So those are muscles. Now, if we move on to the digestive system, um, some of the terminology I'm about to use should be pretty familiar to you. Um, there is a mouth, of course. We, we talked about that being down here, okay? The mouth opens into a small pharynx, okay? And then basically opens up into this large, dark, thin-walled sac right here, okay? This is the crop. Okay, so this is basically a food storage pouch right in here. Below the crop, we find this lighter colored, thicker walled structure, and that is the gizzard. Okay, so we've seen both a crop and gizzard in earthworms as well. It's a similar setup here. So the gizzard, there's a little bit of mechanical breakdown that goes on in there, okay? Lying on top of the gizzard, you'll note this little lobe, and there's a couple little lobes on either side over here. There's a few more underneath. Those are the gastric cica, okay? Gastric cica. And the cica are uh, responsible for producing digestive enzymes. So again, um, these are sort of the, the livers in a sense, and they produce digestive enzymes which are used by the stomach to break down the food. So getting to the stomach, that's what we find next. This thin walled sort of darker colored sac right here, which I just broken a little bit. That um, is the stomach all in here, okay? Below the stomach we find this slightly darker and a bit more muscular tube right here. That is the intestine and the intestine opens out to a short uh, rectum and an anus, okay? So nice complete digestive system. Lying on top of the sort of at the junction of the intestine and the stomach we find this sort of coil of they're actually very thin little fibrous little tubes, little filaments all in here, okay? Those are called malpigian tubules, okay? Malpigian tubules. They essentially act as uh, the kidneys, so those are involved um, in excretion of wastes, okay? Now, um, getting back to these uh, female reproductive organs here, I just wanted to point out, once uh, you peel them to the side, you'll note that all of these individual ovaries are attached to a membrane right here. There's a membrane right here. It's actually a tube. Um, those are oviducts, okay? So as again, as we've seen in other animals, um, eggs are produced in the ovaries, they pass down oviducts, and they're, they're released out of genital pore, okay? So, um, so it's, a, it's, again, a similar setup to what we've seen in, in other things. And I think uh, for the uh, grasshopper, this is all we're gonna have a look at today.